guys, welcome back to the Chronic Illness Diaries. So today I thought I would talk a little bit about my NG tube and why I use it. So as I've mentioned before, I have a condition called dysautonomia. Dysautonomia is a failure of the autonomic nervous system to do the basic operations of um, the things that we don't think about. Things like uh, pupil dilation, uh, respiration, breathing, your heart rate, blood pressure, the way that your blood vessels expand and contract. But it also, it, um, the autonomic nervous system controls digestion. So in people with dysautonomia, we often have a condition called gastroparesis. Again, that means a paralyzed stomach. It's also sometimes called a motility issue. Motility meaning the way that food moves through your system. So in dysautonomia, sometimes the food moves too quickly or too slowly. Um, and the consequences are that you have severe, often severe, nutritional deficiencies. So an NG tube helps me because um, it delivers a small amount of easily digestible uh, nutrition into my stomach and then my body has time to absorb the nutrients and um, process the formula. So my nutritional deficiencies are treated with IV nutrition and an NG tube. In extreme cases um, of gastroparesis, often people are treated with something called TPN. Um, and TPN is extremely hard on your liver. So we do everything possible to try to avoid the use of TPN. Oftentimes, people have a lot of misconceptions about feeding tubes. First of all, people use feeding tubes for a variety of reasons. You don't have to be super thin to need a feeding tube. Um, that's one misconception. People often have a lot of questions too about feeding tubes. One of the questions is, can you eat? Yes, I can eat anything that I would like. Um, the problem, there's only one problem with that. If you eat too much, you of course can vomit um, and you can also get blockages. So it's not recommended that you eat a whole lot. Um, soft, easily digestible foods are best. Another question that people ask is, does it hurt? It doesn't really hurt. Um, it does, however, irritate your throat in the beginning, so I recommend that you use some type of chloroseptic spray, um, drink cold things, that helps too. Um, a lot of people ask, is it hard to breathe? It's not hard to breathe at all. And people ask, does it hurt putting it in? It doesn't really hurt. It's just a little bit uncomfortable. So my nutritional formula gets um, run through a Kangaroo Joey um, in feed pump. I almost called it an infusion pump. It's not an IV. Um, so the nutritional formula goes in this bag and then it goes into the pump and then through the tubing and into my NG tube. Next I'm going to show you how I insert my feeding tube. So I would recommend that if you are a little bit squeamish or a lot of it squeam squeamish, I recommend that you stop the video now or go ahead and fast forward. So usually when um, you have an NG tube put in, most NG tubes have a numbering system on them and I believe they're about a centimeter apart or so. Um, basically you will be measured for your NG tube and then you'll know how far it needs to go in. Um, there are ways to measure it, like sometimes people will take it from like their nose, around their ear, and then down to their stomach, but mine's already been pre-measured, so I know what number to use each time. And usually I'll just put like a black dot here, or in this case I just put a piece of tape. So just a reminder, this is not a tutorial. Um, please follow your medical team's guidance and how to um, take care of yourself, how to insert your NG tube. So I've got the NG tube started and hopefully I won't keep sneezing. I sneeze like constantly when I put it in. So I've got it started and then I'm just going to take some drinks to get it down.
So my eye may water, but I'm not crying. So I'm just going to keep swallowing to get it down. Now that I've reached my tape, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the guide wire. And then I'm going to use the tape to just secure it to my face temporarily. And then in a bit, I'm going to put a better piece of tape on to secure it better. I also have an extension set. I also add that on here too. But I'm not going to do that right at the moment. <laughs> just going to close everything up. And I'll come back in a little bit after I secure it to my face. And I'm also going to check placement. You use a, I use a stethoscope to check to make sure that the NG tube is in the correct place. Okay, so I've checked placement with a stethoscope and made sure that my NG tube is in the correct place. Um, you always want to make sure that it's in the correct place. I've also put a little black dot on the tube just to make sure that it stays in um, down in the same place, basically. I've secured it to my face with some clear tape. And then um, I'm going to ha go ahead and add the extension set. My extension set looks like this. And I'm going to take the cap off. It's always so hard to get the cap off. And I'm going to go ahead and add it to my NG tube. This is clamped. I'm just going to close all these little things here. I don't know why they put so many on. I guess for the different syringes that you can use. And then I'm going to go ahead and flush the extension set and the NG tube. Make sure you unclamp it because I always forget that. Oh good. nice. It is already unclamped. Go figure. And then I'm just going to flush it. It's the weirdest thing. It feels like you're drinking but you're not because it's kind of cold. It's weird. <laughs> 